Many people for some reason believe that UFOs began to visit the Earth only with the advent of technological progress in mankind. But, in fact this is absolute nonsense. All these arrivals were made in ancient times, just people did not have terms to describe what they saw, so they called them, iron birds, fire whirlwinds, burning balls, discs of the gods, and so on. In this connection the testimonies of the brother of Pope Pius I, who lived in the second century ad, seem very interesting. About a hundred people were eyewitnesses to the events that took place in 150 A.D., near the Via Campana. They might not have been believed if Pope Pius I's brother had not been among them. The first thing he did was to tell him. Those events are described as follows. It was a beautiful sunny day, of which there are many in the Via Campana. Suddenly the merchants abandoned trade, the potters their craft, the healers ceased to heal, even the guards looked fearfully at the sky. In the middle of the blue expanse, a monster appeared, coming down from above. It looked like a piece of pottery, with a crystal or lamp on top, from which multicolored rays flew out. People rushed home in a panic. The object descended to the ground, raising a huge cloud of dust. For a while the monster disappeared from sight behind a veil of dust. Next, the brother of Pope Pius I witnessed a passageway opening up into it, from which a blinding light was streaming. After seeing this, the locals thought it was the coming of angels and went outside. The silhouette of a girl appeared from the hatchway. She was dressed in white robes, with golden hair coming down her shoulders. No other details were given as the crowd began to pray to her in religious ecstasy. Among them was the brother of Pius I. The girl stood for a few minutes and then climbed back into the beast, and it floated away. This contact is considered one of the first for our civilization. Since then, almost 2,000 years have passed, and our scientists are not even close to understanding the phenomenon of UFOs. Some believe that it comes from aliens on amazing flying machines. Someone offers a version with time travelers. There is a hypothesis and about parallel worlds, the so-called multi-world. We do not know where they come from. The only thing we can say with certainty is that this phenomenon is quite common and has always happened, both before the appearance of people, and will continue even after their departure into oblivion.